Good afternoon, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody, I hope you had a wonderful and safe couple of weeks. Sorry I've been MIA, I've just been really working hard at my new job and just work life, yes you know. So yeah, that is what I've been doing, but I know that's not an excuse, but that is where I've been MIA at and working a lot, just trying to get some things done for Hamilton and I for our wedding and for our future for 2024 and just getting things in order in our home so that's where I that's what I've been doing and that's where I have been but in today's video it's all about what I ordered from Amazon from Walmart and what my soon to be husband got me for before for Christmas now you know this month but it's for Christmas but he said I can open it up at any time so this whole video is going to be a part one two and three so the final item that I will show you is what he got me for Christmas early Christmas present from Walmart I will show you and tell you about it in part three so in today's video is going to be just what I got from Amazon and from Walmart just a few things not too much of things and yes oh and a part four i'm sorry so it's gonna be a part one two three and four i forgot i have other items over here too so and they're all from amazon so i'm gonna show you some of the things from amazon and in the next video i'll show you some other things other things from amazon so that way it'll be a like a part one of like maybe like walmart and then a part two of amazon and then more amazon and then more walmart so we'll do it like that so yeah, today is November 25th, 2023. The time now is 1.32 p.m. here in the beauty room. So welcome, welcome back. Hugs to you all. I hope you all had a wonderful, blessed, and safe Thanksgiving with you and your family and friends. Hope you had a wonderful and happy Friendsgiving whoever came to your home or to your house or you just got a new place you know and you wanted to do a friend thanksgiving you know with couples married couples or whichever you know family and friends so yeah i hope you all had a wonderful safe last couple of weeks and this week i've been off ever since wednesday morning so i've been joining my four days off I've just been trying to just get my body back in motion resting because <clears throat> for a couple of days i have been sick so <clears throat> that's why i have not been really on here it's been like a head cold like slash nose cold if i can hardly breathe because so there's items at my job that i have to look at and check out because i work in a sterilizing and cleaning building so it's things that you know i have, i cough and then a couple of days later i'm catching some kind of like 24 hour bug or maybe 48 hour bug and then i'm i'm good but for the last couple of days i've been craving orange juice just drinking orange juice just uh minimate orange juice so uh, but i'm doing much better it's not about me i hope you all been having a safe one of a couple of weeks enjoying it with family and friends going to the airport getting your family or your friends or you haven't seen ever since college or whichever getting you know, being with couples, you know, that you haven't seen in a while. And just really be joining your time. And and what have you all been thankful for for this year, for 2023? I've been really thankful for family um, on both of my sides of my mom's family and my dad's family. And yes, my mom, my stepmom and my dad and my sister and my nephew are doing great. Um, they've been just relaxing and just doing their own thing, you know, because they live in a different state. And, yes, and I'm here in Michigan with my soon-to-be hubby with his with his family and my future in-laws. Been so awesome and so great to me, except to me with open arms ever since I met Hamilton and been with Hamilton for five years. And we also had our anniversary like last couple of weeks ago so that's why i have not really been on video too we just wanted to spend some time with one another have some r and r time and have some rest and relaxation time for that couple days you know just trying to really enjoy ourselves take time out for ourselves and just been trying to get our minds and our bodies right for us you know so yeah that's what's been going on the last couple of weeks here in the Martindale home. But, you know, I am really am grateful for family, friends, life, health, and strength. 
waking up each and every day to go to work to have a body mind spirit and soul to go to work you know and having a really great job with great benefits pay and working with good uh, with some good co-workers um yeah that's really about it you know for 2023 and being blessed and grateful to have Hamilton in my life that's that's definitely there but having God definitely in my life is number one but having Hamilton is my second and his family my family on my mom's side and my dad's side the family my whole entire family and friends best friend um sister slash best friend you know so I'm truly am grateful for each and every person that I have said that I'm grateful for and definitely I'm grateful for you all because I missed you all so so much I'm sorry hugs 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 please accept my apology that I've been MIA but with work life you know working a full-time job that I've never had a full-time job in the last 45 years of my life of working of life of living it is hectic it's crazy wow <laughs> But I am grateful and blessed. So we're going to move on to that. But please let me know in the description box below. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my hubby wubby. My soon to be hubby wubby. My Hamilton. I'm so grateful for him. I'm blessed. He's my soulmate. My forever. My best friend. Person I can always call. Talk to. To whatever about. To you know situations at work or whatever. Or just being frustrated, you know, <clears throat> you know, at work, you know. But, you know, not because of the supervisors and managers that I work with or the co-workers, none of them. But it's just, it's just, it's me. So, you know, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, you know, for 2024. But not just because of the new year that's about to come. It's just because I want to do it anyway. So, I want to be a better person, a better me, and look back on the... A uh, few years that I've been on YouTube and get my other channel together, get it more, um, more better. My other second channel is called Donnie's Kitchen. That is one of my friend's channels and title that she named. And I was like, I asked her for so many times, for so many months, or about, um, just about three months, four months. Like, no, I, between that time, between three into six months within a year of 2022 of last year before she passed away i asked her i said what do you think i should do i want to start another new another youtube channel she said yeah go ahead you know come on you know she was pumping me i was uh, bumping her keeping her positive you know for everything that she's done in her life and she's like name it donnie's kitchen i said what I said donnie's kitchen i said okay all right so we're gonna name it donnie's kitchen so that's the name of my second channel it's a cooking channel but i have not been on there in a while either so i gotta make up the times i have been on there so now i got everything i need to bake and cook and for thanksgiving i did make my roast uh i made mac and cheese i made greens i made candy yams with the marshmallows in like in the first layer of the of the canned um, bruises yams that i used or you can use freshly potatoes you can do that get up to like six to eight in a bag or whatever how many comes in sweet potatoes and you know we can put them into the pot three to six cups of water let the water boil up and then put three of them in per you know in per pot if you want and and yeah and that's how you can make your own sweet potatoes or you can make your own sweet potato pie like that you know let it be in the pot for a good hour with the lid after they're done. Get a bowl with some cold water and ice cubes. Put them in there for a good 5 to 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so until they're cooled down. So you can just peel them off with your fingers or pull them, peel them off with a knife, with a butter knife. And yeah, and just making this leak, cut them up, you know, or you can just use a handheld mixer. You know, that'll get the strings off of the sweet potatoes and do it that way. And put your one stick of butter in there. Uh, let that mix for a good 40 minutes. Make 40, 40 minutes. 40 seconds to a minute. And then if you see the first batch of, batch of strings, uh, make sure you have some water in a, another bowl. And you just, you know, rinse that off, you know. Or just shake the excess of your hand mixer 
with the strings in there or you can just rinse them off into your uh, sink do it that way and yeah but i'll do a video on cooking sweet potatoes sweet potato pies or or sweet potato casserole if you did not have time to make your thanksgiving dinner and you're making it this weekend or you're making it today happy belated thanksgiving to you all i hope you all had a wonderful blessed and safe thanksgiving to all of my og subscribers and new subscribers thank you so much for coming coming back to me and just sticking with me and supporting me and just understanding about my work life and about my life thank you all so much you all mean so much to me and with the work life that i have is just so unbearable crazy right now and I just want to say thank you to you all because you all mean so much to me. You all mean the world from my heart to your heart. And I hope you all had a wonderful, blessed, and safe Thanksgiving with your family and friends, your loved ones, your in-laws, your husband's family. Guys, hope you had a good one with your girl or your wife or your fiance with her family, your family being together. Had a friend's Thanksgiving. Um, just really enjoyed your day. Spending time and just really taking out the time to be appreci appreciated of what you have and who is in your life, you know. And in your family, your friends, your in-laws. Just being grateful and blessed, you know, for the kids also as well, for sure. And yes, kids, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And hope you had a, a few friends over, you know, it was okay with your parents, you know. To have a good friend Thanksgiving with you and your friend, you know, your pal that you go to school with five days a week, you know. And doing um, after, after school sports, you know basketball football or um which you know she's ever doing you know before it got too cold because in our state right now and it's about ooh, about 40 between 40 and 49 degrees today so and this is my last day of having a day off until next friday morning but next friday morning i'm um hamilton and i were going to walmart for sure so i'll do a haul on that so but let me stop babbling and show you the things that i've gotten so far the first thing i want to show you these are from definitely walmart and if you um never had or never tried mccormick uh, I make mccormick seasonings you know definitely try it gives your food a up a upstanding flavor to me i've been using i go back and forth but i do like the mccormick and also the spot is called Spy Supreme. These two are like are my my favorite, but my third one is called Badaya. Um, Badaya seasonings. They have that too, and they have Weber and they have Kinders. So those are like my main two go seasonings that I use for like onion powder, onion powder, garlic powder. I use McCormick, but it's in a bigger size container. It's an eight point seven five, and then it's six point seven five from Walmart. It's the onion and the garlic that is in a big container where you can you know savor and use that more instead of just always getting the small ones i prefer or highly recommend that you get the 8.75 6.75 into the onion and garlic powder by mccormick this is the name brand of it mccormick and it has the uh the, the top where you can it has the holes in it and it has the bigger ones if you're making like some type of meal meat like chicken it can go for chicken hamburger going to steaks or if you have your own steak seasoning by mccormick you can use that too as well but i'll show you the seasonings of what i really have in our kitchen so that'll be a separate video in my cooking video or my cooking video my cooking channel i'm sorry my cooking channel so i just wanted to show you these two things that i have but i i've never really used this before this is the mccormick uh, ground cinnamon this is in the what is this here it's a 2.37 ounce this was the close to i want to say maybe between 10 ten dollars or less would change you know so definitely pick this up at your local walmart or at your your, your supermarket that you shop at shop at for you and your family you know definitely pick this up and it'll make your your baking desserts or whatever baking and desserts very phenomenal very good and this would be definitely good too if you want to use this for 
like your sugar cookies that you gonna make for Christmas time in December, or you making a mound, or this can go for your sweet potato pies. This can go for your sweet potato casserole. You know, with the marshmallows, you can put marshmallows in there. You can put chopped pecan, pecans, pecans into your casserole dish. You to make it simple and put it on 350 for the first 30 minutes, and then turn up your heat up to like 375 to 400 and like your marshmallows will be like melty and it'll be like a light uh light brown on top of the marshmallows but it depends on your oven my oven is completely different my oven is like a ninja I'm t it's it is crazy sometimes so it goes back and forth it's either a ninja want to be fast or it wants to be a normal down earth oven so you know those are the two words i can think of and think of and say so but anywho, but yeah, anywho, but that's just how my oven is my oven is cooks pretty fast so i have to reduce my heat down not to three to 325 but i mean 325 i do for my baking and my desserts and my cookies so but for my food i have to have it at 325 because it's my oven cooks so fast and so weird and I got this also from McCormick. This is a cake batter flavor of artificially flavored. It's in two ounce. It's in a box. And you can use this for your baking. You can use this for if you're making pancakes, you know, for after Christmas. After Christmas, you know, with to be after you being with you and your family. Your family and friends are still there. And this is in the two ounce fluid ounce right here this is the cake battery so you can use this for a cake you can use this for cupcakes for um for anything for it's just basically for cake but you can use it for all types but you can look at the back of it and then look at some recipes too by mccormick that will tell you about this brand and what to use it for but it's mainly for for like cake batter so just put about a one or two tablespoons of it into your cake batter yeah, and that's what that is. That's what I got from Walmart. This was about no, I got this one from the grocery store that Hamilton I locally shop at. Um, this was about say like seven seven dollars and some change, and this was like five dollars and some change at our local grocery store. So definitely check out your local grocery store. Check out your Walmart. It could be cheaper online. Before you get into your car, start your car up and go to Walmart, check online while you're in the grocery store and see what's cheaper for your wallet and for your coins, okay? So this is the thing that I got from Amazon I ordered. I always wanted one because I want to do, it's called a pumpkin roll cake, I want to say, or something like that. So this is what this is. And what you're going to do is put your cake and your filling on here onto your kitchen table flat. And you're going to roll it, you know, instead of using a towel, like a kitchen towel. Or but if you have really old kitchen towels from, from from forever ago, from over five years ago, like I do, I don't want to ruin them. So I'm just, I just wanted to get this. And this is what this is. If I turn it wrong way. So this is what this is. You just put it onto your kitchen table and you roll your cake and your filling. Put your filling in all over to your cake. Roll it like this. Okay, this is how you do it. Sorry, the noise of the bag. I'm almost done. See, and then you roll it. And you let it sit on your table for about five to ten minutes. Then you unroll you know unroll it and you put it onto a serving tray and then you cut it into like slice the right um slice like round slices so that's what i got that'll show you that I'll show you those and then this was i was going to i had this pan whew, for about a good five years or more and this is in a 10.3 by 14.5 by 4 8 quart Sorry about that. My um, video then went off, but I'm sorry. Where I was at, I was just saying of the 10.3 by 14 by 5 by 4, 48 quart. This is what it is, if you can see it. Hope you can. 
was a 10 by 10.3 by 14.5 by 48 quart this is by anchor so this is the pan and this is definitely safe for your for your oven you know for sure and it's um it's microwave safe too and it's dishwasher safe also as well so this is what i got i was going to cook this in with my my macaroni and cheese for thanksgiving but i found a smaller um pan glass pan like this so i got this at walmart this was under 20 dollars. so definitely check out your walmart sales now for their black friday which is going on yesterday and today and I think Sunday too, I think. But I mean, but that's at our Walmart where we shop at. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So and they had Thanksgiving off this year, Friday. I mean Thursday. I was like, good for them because they they work hard too, you know, dealing with dealing with us customers, cranky customers, just dealing with customers, period, because I know how they feel. So I was a cashier too for um almost four years. So I got that, and I'm gonna show you one other thing. This is what I got right here. This is also from um, from Amazon, and I'll leave you that rolling mat that I got from from Amazon, so that way you'll know. Trash. Okay, so these are for your piping bags that if you want to um to do like. For your cupcake icing, you get up to to you get up to forty of these, and you get them like the multi-color kind. And also, grandparents too; these are good too for your grandchildren um, if they want to learn how to bake. You know, and you're teaching them now how to bake. You know, this would be good too to stock up on. Also, as well, parents and grandparents. You know, you're being with your with your grandchildren. You know, for the weekend. I know that's what my grandparents used to do for me. And I was growing up as a kid, growing up, um, they would have me in the kitchen and I would see what my grandmother was doing and I just learned to what she was doing and I always remembered what she was doing and she showed me step by step. So, yeah, these are the piping bag pastry ties. So, when you have a, like a, a piping bag, you know, you tie your this onto your piping bag and then you use um, a plastic it comes with two of them it comes with the the lid and it comes with the with the twisted container that you put in there tight and then you put any um cupcake tip that you put on there and then you pipe away whatever design the tip is of your of your thing i'll show you in a minute i'll show you right now it's right here i want to show you this so yeah these are what they are and they have as you can see, they have the numbers on these. Super cool. And you get up to, I want to say, maybe 50 to 100. You can definitely double up. And these are the ones I was talking about, like the plastic ones right here. You put onto the pastry bag and you put the other one on top of it. And then you put your, uh, your cupcake tip onto it. And then you pipe away with however design. And it shows you all the designs that they do for these right here and you can also get a type of tray with a container with a lid and you can organize your 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 um cupcake tips this a very that's to be a very good idea that'd be a good christmas present too to show your husband ladies you know um guys you know if your girl wants something like that you know if your wife wants something like that and you got her some things you know yeah so my christmas gift it's one thing that my um, fiance got me, but I want one more thing. It's just it's just a perfume that I've been wanting forever, and it smells so good. It's called My Way by Ralph Lauren. Oh, my goodness. I smelled that perfume when me and my girlfriends, we went to the mall. You know, we had a girls' day. We had lunch, and then we went to the mall, you know, looked around and did a little shopping, shopping spree. And this was a, a couple years ago while i was while hamilton and i were together and he was living here and um oh my goodness it was so much fun but yeah that's what we did and and we went into the mall that was it i think macy's macy's oh my god i fell in love with that perfume it's called my way oh my god it smells so good and of course the 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 uh, like the perfume is pink of course but not the bottle the bottle's clear but the 
perfume of its smell is pink. And I'm like, oh my God, I gotta have it because it's pink, you know, and it smells so good. And it lingered on to my body and I smelled good all day. And then while we went to lunch, you know, I got compliments after compliments from from women and men. Guys was like, dang, you smell good. What you got on? I said, hey, excuse me, excuse me, miss. I was like, yes. They said, what you have on? I said, oh, I said, have my perfume caught my way, you know. I ain't telling them, you know. You know, I don't, um, I don't hide, not hide things. I don't tell. I like to tell people what I have on, so that way if they want their wives or girlfriends or fiancés to smell good too, but they want to get them something like that or and something else, you know, like like a whole set. Cause like if you go to like those malls and sometimes in those perfume stores, they do have like the whole entire kit that comes with the perfume, the shower gel. The body lotion and the perfume, and sometimes they may have like some kind of other surprise in it, like a loofah or, or no, either the loofah or like the little mini perfume too as well, where that woman can put into her purse, you know, or into her, her or her toilet bag. That's what I call. I I'm, I always carry me a to- a toilet bag, not for work, but. I do carry them for work, but if Hamilton and I do go somewhere, I I carry it when we go to the movies or something like that. I put it in my purse, so that way when we're done with the movie or before the movie starts and we have like 15, 10 minutes, like 20 minutes to sit and wait till other people come out the movie theater, I make sure I go to the women's restroom, of course, first, you know, do my thing and freshen myself back up, you know, smelling good, so, you know, yeah. I always carry me, uh, like, a toilet bag for everywhere we go, and then for work. And that's it. And then and then I carry one, too, with my with my girlfriends if we go anywhere, somewhere, lunch, or we go to a movie or something, like a, like a, like a day movie. You know, see, like, in the daytime, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, this is the end of the video. Just, it's part one, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. Sorry, it was super short and not too long because i know it's a few days after um, thanksgiving you want to be with your family and friends and it's a saturday yes so it is saturday but before you leave make sure you subscribe to the beauty room it's definitely well appreciate it please tell your family and friends about the beauty room so they can subscribe and also make sure you hit that notification bell before you leave this channel and today is saturday i always forget the saturdays oh my gosh i'm so horrible it is holy Holy moly Saturday. I like that one. Holy moly Saturday. Um, I definitely like that. So it's holy moly Saturday. So enjoy your holy moly Saturday. And I will see you all next video. God bless. See you soon. Bye.